Hi. And Happy New Year, by the way. Okay, so I was on the internet the other day, just Googling, as you do, and I came across the 100 greatest movies to watch before you die. I'll list them just there, just running across the screen. So I've decided over the next year I'm going to watch all 100 films and post video reviews of what I think of them. It won't be in any particular order, I'll just watch them when I get them really. Um, I've got some of them already so I'll probably do those ones first and I'll still be doing my random vlog things as well but I'll playlist my reviews or something like that as well as those hundred that are running across the bottom um, I'm also going to post reviews of my favourite films one thing you should bear in mind about me I'm not very good with horror films I try I, I do watch some of them but you know, I'm not good with horror I get scared easily <laughs> They give me nightmares for weeks and others I run out and be sick because it's just, ooh, I don't do horror. I will watch any horror that is on the list and I will review it, but I may be a little bit biased. So for that, I am very sorry. That means none of my favourites will be horror. Thriller, maybe, but not horror. Right, so the first movie I've decided to review is Chocolat. Now here's a little bit of Wikipedia information for you. Chocolat was made in the year 2000 and is based on the novel also called Chocolat by Joanne Harris. It was directed by Lass Holstrom and the film was nominated for five Academy Awards, eight BAFTAs and four Golden Globes. Now that's pretty impressive. I'm going to try and pronounce all the names correctly but if I get them wrong I really am sorry. And my French accent sort of sucks as well so I'm sorry for that as well. So. Now, on the back of the box, it says, Nobody could have imagined the impact that striking Vianne would make when she arrived in a tranquil, old-fashioned French town. In her very unusual chocolate shop, Vianne begins to create mouth-watering confections that almost magically inspire the straight-laced villagers to abandon themselves to temptation and happiness. But it's not until another stranger, the handsome Roux, arrives in town that Vianne finally is able to recognise her own desires. It stars Juliette Blanchet as Vianne, Johnny Depp as Rue, and Judi Dench as Armand. The film is set in a quaint village in France in 1959 and all of the people in the village are incredibly religious. Now being an atheist I've got nothing against you know people's religion I just don't believe it. So they all seem a little bit uptight to me, to be honest, but the most religious person there is the Comte de Renault, and he's the mayor, but he's like the most strictly religious. He leads by example, and he thinks that the devil is basically in everything that brings happiness. So basically, he's bitter. And when Vianne and her daughter Anouk come to the village, it's during Lent, and most people, if they are religious, they will give up chocolate for Lent. So a chocolatier moving in during Lent is generally not a good idea. But my favourite character is Josephine, and she basically becomes a Vianne's prodigy. Um, at the start of the film, she's sort of... Oh, she's kind of crazy, to be honest. You look at her like she's a completely crazy person, but she's... But you realise she's just lost and she's scared. Her husband's like a complete twat. And that's been nice. He's an alcoholic and a violent one at that. Um, so no wonder she's scared. Johnny Depp's Irish accent, so yummy. Oh my god. I feel like the movie should have like some deep meaning that I don't quite get because I'm not smart enough. It is a good film and I did enjoy it, but you really do need chocolate. <laughs> Mm. Truffles. They're fantastic. But it's not my favourite. I feel like I should have a way to wrap this up or more to say, but I don't. <laughs>